here in the pit area at Land of Legends Racetrack getting ready for a Tuesday night show, and there are a lot of people here, uh, many of which are not necessarily going to be regulars here at Land of Legends this year. Billy Dunn with me right now. Remember, like and subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Two races for him this past week and the third, and a run on Saturday that he doesn't really want to talk about too much. I'll see what I can get uh, out of him. First of all, how, how has the Dunn family been over this past three months or so? Great. Uh, I had a, a new addition to the family, so... Uh, Congratulations. Em Emerson, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, everything that's going on, is it, it's kind of, I don't know, been a blessing in a way for us. Got to spend a little bit more time with her before we get going uh, full season of racing, but we're ready to get going. How old is she now? Uh, three weeks, four oh, weeks. That's it? Yep. Oh, wow. So it also made it nice for you leading up to that to be able to be there and and not have to, oh, no, I'm at a race, i got to go, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was still pretty nerve-wracking with all the uh, hospital restrictions and all everything going right. on, but uh, everything was good, and uh, we're happy. Now, could you be in there with her or not? Then? Yep. Okay. Yep. How about afterwards? Yep, after was fine. Okay, and they didn't take the baby away in nope. quarantine or anything like that? Nope. Okay, so from that aspect, just not many other people could come, basically. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Tell me about the weekend. Let's start with the good night first on Friday. Lots been made of the changes at K&M. What did, what did you see? Um, it was good. It still needs a little bit of work, but uh, first race, it was uh, a, a great night to get back to back to racing. Uh, led for a while, just missed the setup towards the end of the race and uh, slid back to third, which uh, don't really like to do that, but it was still a good run. And uh, Saturday night, we went to Middletown, just had some uh, mechanical struggles, took us to right before the feature to get everything figured out. So we just uh, took a few laps and saved the car. I know you don't want to talk about it too much. But what was the phrase you used in there when you told me? Self-induced trouble. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. It's early in the year. Those things do tend to happen, though, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, try not to make a habit of it, but, uh, you know, we it, we definitely won't do that one again. Well, I always said the biggest thing on something like that, did you learn from it? Did you? Yeah. Or was it just a stupid thing? No, I mean, it was stupid, but you have to learn from it. Okay. Okay. Um, how much different was k and I know they shortened it. They said it's like a four-tenths now or four-ninths or something. Yeah, um, the the biggest difference I know is just the backstretch is so much narrower. Um, probably just as a fan or a spectator, if you didn't know they shortened it, you probably wouldn't even notice really? it. Um, okay. Our gearing hasn't changed at all. Oh, wow. Um, still on a right rear 400, so uh, the track's still... It's still can am It's uh, I wouldn't think it's a, much would change. It's just a tiny bit smaller. Biggest change. I was talking to Tim Fuller. He said the one thing he noticed the most was lighting. He he would say that. He's blind, but <laughs> well, I mean, is it a big difference? Because I know we used to do TV there. We used to have to bring in extra lights, especially like on turn three. Right. Can Am, Can -Am was a dark track, but uh, Tyler's made a ton of improvements there this year. Lighting, uh, new grandstand bleachers, shorten the track. So uh, lots of good things going on at Can Am. What's your tentative plans as of right now? Uh, right now, we're just uh, going to run Can Am weekly. We're uh, just kind of hit and miss on the series stuff and um, just kind of see where things shake out once everything gets going before we really make any uh, concrete plans. Do you have a number of races you're, you're geared up for? Um, well, I mean, we're ready to go whenever whenever we can start racing. We got uh, we got four cars ready to go at the shop, so we're ready to get going. Twice a week? Once a week? Um, once a week for sure, maybe twice a week, plus all the, all the series stuff, so we're going to keep pretty busy. Of course, we really don't know a lot about the series stuff yet, do we? No, I I haven't really heard any. I haven't asked either, but I haven't really heard much. But uh, I think at some point we'll get going here. Well, I guess the big thing is have a good night tonight. Get start or finish for, more forward than we started, and it'll be a good night. Yeah, uh, our draw, hopefully we can, uh, we'll be fighting our way up all night. But Oh, you didn't do well there. No, but <laughs> Candaig has always been a good track. I really like it here, and uh, if it gets slick at the end of the night, that's usually when we're the best. Well, you, did you see the video at all? Yeah, it, the video from Saturday night looked amazing. Yeah, it looked like old school Cannon Dagwood, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you have fun, man. Good to see you. And Thank throw you. a plug for Frosties to go up and see you. I said it's busy, right? Yeah, it's been really busy. The weather's been uh, really great these last three, four weeks, and we've had a good year there so far. And it's Frosties Ice Cream, Frosties, yes. and what, what street is that on again? Bradley Street. Right off the exit, right? Yep. Right down the street from number one speed. Yep. Makes it convenient if we need an extra person at the ice cream shop or vice versa, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Hope you have Thank fun you. tonight, Billy. Thank you. Remember, like and subscribe, guys. We're going to be doing a lot this season.